Back with another Carhartt Whip video. You guys seem to enjoy this, so I'm pumping them out like crazy. And before we get into the video itself, as you guys can see, I'm wearing a facade t-shirt. What is facade? This is my brand. So <laughs> sorry, I have to plug it. A little bit of a shameless plug. Um, takes a lot of inspiration or some inspiration. We have some work, work, work wear pieces like uh, some work shirts, which I'm super proud of. Those are probably my favorite pieces that we made, but um, yeah, this is my brand. And like I said, it takes inspiration from Carhartt Whip. One of the things we like to do on our tees at least are include these um, patches on the sleeve, these sleeve patches, which obviously we mimic the color and then also mimic the font and color of the font. The font itself is a little bit different, but um, yeah, figured I'd plug that because we're here. And uh, if you guys think this is cool, if you guys uh, want to show some support or if you're interested in what I'm doing, the website for Facade will be linked in the description down below as well as the Instagram. So please go uh, show some love. And with that out of the way, we can get into the video, which is about, like the title says, Carhartt beanies. So let me unbox one for you guys so you can see it. Um, I know people like that if it's like ASMR, I don't know, some kind of unboxing fetish. But uh, we have, I forget what colorway this one itself is. But yeah, this is the acrylic watch hat. And I should mention these are all acrylic watch hats that we're gonna be talking about. This is in the wax colorway. And this is looking absolutely beautiful. Looking scrum diddly, mm, chef's kiss. It's a beautiful colorway. Hopefully I do not stain it too much. And we have this wax colorway. We also have the boysenberry colorway, which the boysenberry one I believe is from the 2019 or 2020 season. It might be the 2020 season. Um, kind of leaning towards that over 2019. But um, <laughs> this is a fun colorway. I got one of my like favorite tees from Car Whip. It's a striped um, Parker or Scotty. I think it's Parker striped tee, but beautiful. It's in the boysenberry colorway. I really, really like it. And it's fun to say it's a fun colorway. So anyway, we have these two, which are from Carhartt Whip. And then we also have this one, which is just in the brown. Um, I think they, they call it Hamilton Brown sometimes. I'm not sure if Carhartt or Carhartt Whip at least calls it Hamilton Brown. Uh, I'm not sure if the mainstream Carhartt or like mainline OG, I'm not sure what to call it. Just a normal Carhartt also calls it Hamilton Brown. They could. Maybe not though, um, but we have, anyway, this brown one. And that's what we're gonna be comparing it to. We're gonna be comparing it to the wax beanie and or the car whip beanie anyway. But uh, I'll get close-ups to overlay while I talk about the features and everything. But let's talk materials. What, what's this stuff made of? Because just touching this car whip beanie, you can tell that it's like way nicer than this one. And as far as wear goes, you know, I've had this beanie for a couple <laughs> a couple of years. This one's obviously brand new, but this boysenberry one, I've worn way more than this brown one, and it's maybe a year newer. It's still, you know, a couple of years old. So if you look at the tags, they're on the inside. They are different, yes, but as far as the materials go, they both say they're 100% acrylic. Um, we have different definitions going on. One says, you know, Carhartt.com, the other says Carhartt work in progress. We have different uh, instructions going on in this. Made in China for the whip one. The other one is made in the USA. So uh, as far as price goes, the whip one I believe is going to be a little bit more expensive. They retail around $21, I wanna say. I did get this on sale, however, for $12, $12 I think. I'm, I'm always hitting up the Carhartt whip sales. So you know, I got a good deal on it. And then these ones, I, I can't remember how much it was, but it, it was definitely a lot cheaper. So um, that's that's what, it, you know, that's what we got going on for materials. They appear to be the same material. Obviously the production on this one must be a lot nicer. <laughs> you know, just looking at them in person, it's very easy to tell that this one, the car whip one is a lot higher quality. So next let's move on to the patches themselves. Um, the stitching, the threading, you know, the sewing, the actual application of the patch to the whip beanie is also done a lot nicer. If you look at the OG car one, the spacing between the threading or the spacing between kind of like the stitches for the, the, the threading is a lot more spread out. The patch itself too is a 
is a lot more off-center. Um, you can see here that the sides are poking up. You know, there's a lot more excess material on the sides. And then I think actually another thing that the beanies might have or the car whip patches might have is that on the side here, it just pops up on the side, you know? It's not folded over or anything, which will help from fraying, depending on how the patch is produced. So then if you look at the car whip beanie, if you carefully inspect the corners, you can see that the patch itself is folded over. So the patch, you know, if we cut it off, if we were to take a thread ripper and rip all this stuff off, the patch is not actually square, unlike this one where it is a square. This one would be elongated, more like a rectangle, and then they fold the corners over, they fold the edges over, I should say, like the right edge, the left edge would be folded in on itself and then uh, stitched on top of. But yeah, I mean, just <laughs> the comparison between them is obvious which one is better. Like it's, uh, this patch looks leagues better than this one. So I don't wanna swap between this hat and like this hat to show the difference in sizing, but um, the sizing is pretty much the same. I will say the whip hats are maybe a little bit bigger. That might just be because of the material and the production like done on it, how it's uh, how it's made, just, you know, has a little bit more leeway, whereas this one is a little bit more shriveled up. And uh, the next thing I want to talk about is the wear on them. You know, I mentioned that this one, this boysenberry one, which obviously, you know, looks pretty similar to the, the wax one that we just got. Um, doesn't look too bad, you know? It still looks pretty pretty new. But this one, if you look at up close, like I said, I'll try to get some close up shots of this so you can uh, have a better idea of the quality between the two. This one is, you know, it, it's got a lot of fuzzy stuff going on. I believe they call, I believe they call it piling when uh, the fabric starts to like kind of come off and then bunch up into these little balls. So that starts to happen pretty quickly on these OG hats. Like right here, for example, we have this ball coming off. There are different ways to combat it. Um, I, I forget what like the best thing that I read was for it, but um, that does start to happen on these, but not so much on these hats. Um, it, they just, you know, hold up a lot better. Maybe it's tighter knitted or something like that. Better material going into it. the acrylic used for it is better than the uh, acrylic that goes into this one. And obviously it makes sense, you know, the, this whole video, I'm just trying to show you guys the differences, but um, I, I would imagine, or I would hope that the car with beanie is nicer than the OG, the mainline car. And at the end of the day, it is. And for not too much more, I don't think, uh, you know, if you're trying to, if you're trying to decide between the mainline one or the whip one, I would definitely recommend going with the whip one just because of that material. You know, it, it's a lot better. It feels a lot softer and it is a lot more durable. So that's my opinion on these beanies. That's my review on them. Um, I love them. They're very comfortable. They're popular. They're, you know, every other person has one of these brown ones. So um, maybe branch out, check out the car whip colorways. They do change between seasons. Like I said, this was the boysenberry colorway. I know they had like a deep, a deep lagoon one or something like that, or grove colorway. Some like nice green one that I picked up not too long ago, but uh, yeah, Car Whip, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.